This video will take you through the teardown for the Oculus Rift Touch controllers. First, remove the battery and the battery cover. Next, I'm going to take out three screws. Two of these small screws you can see inside are actually covered by a sticker that you'll have to remove. Next, the best way to take off the top is to heat it up with a heat gun, but I have done this before without the heat gun and it came off just fine. You're just going to want to be a little bit more careful and slow. I suggest using a plastic tip prying tool instead of the metal screwdriver like I use. There are sensitive cable ribbons lying right underneath here, so you're going to want to kind of be careful. I didn't know this whenever I first did it, but right here there's two cable ribbons that you're going to want to be careful not to hit. So try and avoid these areas since there's no adhesive under there anyway. So I worked my way around the edge of the controller just making sure not to bend the plastic too hard. And it came off just fine. Removing the top is going to give us access to five screws that we're going to eventually remove. Four of them right now shown in the yellow and one in the red we're going to remove later. That holds on the PCB and doesn't need to be removed just yet. The left and the right controller are symmetrical, so it's not too hard to translate this if you're working on the left controller right now. I'm backing out these screws as much as I can and sometimes they come out. The screwdriver is a little bit magnetic, but they aren't always though easy, so the electrical tweezers are kind of a must. Like I said, I'm going to wait to take out this fifth screw. It's actually a smaller size screw, the same as the outside screws holding on the ring. Now this is my least favorite part to take off and especially put back on. It takes a good bit of force but I haven't broken one yet. Now this last handle piece is held on over the lip, you can see how I'm just pulling it back over that little lip and I'm going to rock it forward after that. Rotating it forward and then raising it over that lip on the opposite side is going to remove the rest of it. These two pieces are connected by a ribbon cable but it usually comes off by itself. The last screw I'm going to take out for this teardown is in that center one. I'm not sure exactly what the size is, but my flathead screwdriver just happened to fit it, so that's what I used. The main board is now loose and we can remove it. It'll just swing out and is only connected by that ribbon cable you can see there. I'm going to pop it off with a screwdriver. Again, I'm not proud that I've been using this metal tip screwdriver. It would be a lot better to use a uh, plastic prying tool and they're not that expensive or you can use a guitar pick most of the time. iFixit sells a really cool kit if you want to have all the right size screwdrivers and the tools come in handy for other projects. This is it for this video. I'm not going to take apart the LED ring since I don't want to. I've got other repair videos for the Oculus Rift touch controllers and am open to requests. Thanks.